Hello friends and welcome to Picture Astrology. In this quick snap video, we will learn about placement of Rahu or North Node in the 4th house of the horoscope. Now, in most of the classics, 4th house Rahu is not dealt very ceremoniously. And in this video, we will try to understand why that is so. Also see some of the practical aspect of this Rahu in 4th house especially its impact on human personality and also try to figure out how this energy can be used constructively for human and personal progress. So first of all, fourth house is the house which is 12 o'clock at night. You know, 12 midnight is the representation of this house which means it is the time when only your innermost core is active. Most of the outer world activities have gone silent at this time. And therefore, fourth house shows your innermost feeling. And Rahu, as you know, and we have dealt this in my previous videos in Rahu Ketu series, and also about how to interpret Rahu position, is that Rahu is a weird guy. Rahu is out of ordinary. Rahu is anything but common, you know, Rahu is absolute uncommon entity. So in very simple ways, these people who have Rahu in fourth house can definitely have some weird belief, something which, you know, may, may be out of ordinary, which they believe in. Now, depending upon the other influences on this horoscope, remember, uh, remember Rahu and Ketu, they are actually just catalyst. They will take to next level whatever is promised in the horoscope. So based on the other influences in the horoscope, that weird belief could be simply some extreme pet peeves, you know, or it could also mean belief in uh, extraterrestrials, life, uh, apart from earth or belief in life after death, you know, or in many cases, belief in ghosts, spirits, and even some experiences in this area. If, as I said, Rahu and Ketu are catalyst. So if there are any other influences which support this particular kind of combination, then this people or the weirdness which they exhibit could even mean experiences and belief in ghosts and spirits as well. And now again, depending upon the kind of horoscope it is or the kind of promise which is exhibited in the horoscope, this kind of placement of Rahu can push people into spiritual world as well. And some of the great mystics, you know, uh, the guru of Swami Vivekanand, Sri Ramakrishna Paramhans, who lived in India in the late 19th century, had a wonderful horoscope which was supported by Rahu in the fourth house. And I will definitely like to take that horoscope example one day and explain to you how wonderfully well the energies of Rahu in fourth house is balanced in a spiritual way in the horoscope of Sri Ram Krishna Paramhansa. Now, all this weirdness or absurdity or out of ordinariness, whatever may be the case depending upon the horoscope, has one root cause. And that is, see, fourth house is the innermost core. And Rahu here really makes these people restless. You know, they are not someone who can be just simply be happy with the mundane way of life. You know, there is always a need of something extra, something more than what is going on. And that, you know, can easily make these people sleep less. See, fourth house Rahu has the tendency to keep the innermost emotions agitated in search of something more. And that can result in lesser sleep. Sometimes, if there are simultaneous affliction on the 4th, 12th and 8th, then it can result in bad dreams. Many people who sort of, you know, gets frightened in the dream or 
have weird experiences in the dream have this kind of combination also but again as i said that need simultaneous affliction on 4th 8th and 12th and obviously never forget the catalyst principle of rahu for any prediction now one very common question which people come to me with when they see rahu in the 4th house is about their mothers and see rahu in 4th house alone would never imply with certainty anything wrong with mother and in my earlier video i have given one more principle about rahu in ketu prediction and that is they give negative or extreme negative effects only when sun and moon are very badly placed and that is because sun and moon are actually like the mother and father of rahu and ketu meaning they are the ones who actually create these points and in any case in this particular situation moon being the karka of the fourth house karka of the mother only placement of rahu in fourth house will not indicate many negative attributes with your experience with the mother or with the life of the mother yes there could be hardships in the life of mom or at least in your experiences with the mom there are cases when the person doesn't get enough time to spend with the mother but that would happen only when rahu is in the fourth house with moon badly afflicted so remember without the affliction of moon rahu in fourth house just alone by itself should not make you worried about mother's health yes if there are affliction remember especially the time when rahu transits over the natal rahu which happens every 18 years or 18 years and 6 months 18 and a half year you know during that time you should take extra precaution as far as your mother is concerned now now let's talk about education rahu in fourth house as far as education is concerned see fourth house is the house of formal education according to vedic astrology meaning it shows your degree education the kind of degree you get and rahu here definitely provides some kind of confusion in people while pursuing the studies and it could manifest depending upon mercury position mercury is the primary kark of your education so if depending upon mercury's position this confusion can be you know if mercury is really really strong it could just be simple confusion about you know what kind of subjects to choose or if mercury is not strong then it could mean you know some kind of break in education people stop for one year two year start work and then come back to finish the education and often times it also means that people who complete education in one field but get more interested in some other field and you know sort of uh, get name and frame uh, fame in an area in which probably they were not even formally trained or not even formally earned a degree but one of the very common things which happen these days is you know if say mercury is strong people would do their undergrad in you know uh, one subject but when they learn you know when they uh, have different experiences in life their their mood their thought process change and then go on and do post graduation and even further studies in some different area altogether so yes rahu in fourth house can definitely give confusion when it comes to studies but the full extent of that impact would depend upon fourth uh, house lord position obviously in mercury because mercury is the kark of this thing and generally again the common thing when people who know little bit of astrology is oh rahu in fourth house is going to give a lot of trouble in family life it's not going to let you live a sort of life of content or what not and all of these things are not exactly correct as i said remember that catalyst principle always and rahu in fourth house can give you a wandering mind you know someone as i as i said earlier people who are not just content with the mundane way of life whatever is happening is not enough and that can push them you know push them towards expounding new boundaries and exploring new horizons those you know wandering tendencies exploring those new um, territories could be both bad as well as good depending upon 
this inherent strength of your horoscope so yes you can definitely say that the person will be restless he will have you know hard time just uh, being content and finding peace of mind but that can definitely lead a person into any of the direction you know depending upon the chart itself now this rahu also had a great impact on person's professional life we have talked about uh, effect of this rahu in the education and the kind of absurdity it can uh, sort of create in that but i will i will discuss about you know professional life impact in the k2 in the 10th house video because i think that is where i can probably relate it and explain more logically but one very important thing with rahu in the fourth house often gives is see fourth house is the house of your immovable properties which include your land home etc and any good placement of 10th house lord can show a lot of gains from land and land meaning it could be anything uh, related to use of land which means it could be agriculture uh, many times it could be anything which comes from or which is extracted from the uh, from the land it could mean something related to ores or minerals or simply in dealing with land and since rahu as you know as we discussed earlier is a weird thing so it could mean dealing in land which other people don't really normally deal in maybe uh, some kind of land in far off places or some marshy kind of land or some or the other kind of you know unusual element associated with certain kind of land dealings that kind of gives sometimes very immense gains to these people so friends this was my quick analysis of rahu in fourth house obviously i will cover the professional aspect in the k2 in 10th house video please do like and subscribe to my channel to get that update thank you for being with me so far i hope you liked it and hope to see you again soon bye bye thanks